Hey everyone, I'm Xunani. Welcome to my new video. Today we will talk about my most favorite sketchbooks, the Royal Talents Art Creation Mixed Media Sketchbooks. I'm not sponsored. Meanwhile, I will fill a spread in my just started new art creation sketchbook with you. And I will use the Kuretake Art Nouveau set. A few color pencils and a few other things. First, a few facts about these sketchbooks. The art creation have 80 pages, very smooth ones. They have 140 GSM and it's a light toned paper. All of these sketchbooks have a hardcover and you can get them in a lot of different colors and sizes. It has this nice ribbon and this elastic strap to hold your book together even if it becomes really chunky. These books are also quite affordable. That's why I'm not afraid to sketch and paint everything what's in my brain in here. I tried almost every media in it. Here you will see a few examples. I regularly use watercolor in it and I really use a lot of water and I layer a lot. It holds water very good. Okay, it becomes a bit wavy, but I don't care in this case. Markers like felt markers, acrylic markers, ink markers were perfect in here. Also crayons, water soluble crayons and normal ones. I always work in here in a lot of layers with different medias. This is all no problem for this paper. Gouache also works perfect in here, also acrylic paint. I have used black ink in here, also no problem. Alcohol markers could work on this paper, but they bleed through, of course. And I never use them in here because I never use alcohol markers in general. Aqua markers, which I really like, are the only markers which are not perfect on this paper. I use them here and there in the sketchbook, but they can't show their full potential on this paper. That's why I tested the watercolor ground from Daniel Smith. Then they really worked very good on top, but I have to say I prefer using them on hot pressed watercolor paper. And all in all, I'm fine with it. I've seen a lot of artists on YouTube using watercolor markers in their art creation sketchbooks. So I think it's all about your personal feeling, if you like it or not. And another thing is, it lays down flat. No matter on which spread you are working, there's an exception I will tell you later. After I filled my big A4 art creation sketchbook, I was kind of happy because these 80 pages are a lot and I wanted to try out other sketchbooks as well which waited in my drawer for so long. Then I became impatient. After I started two other sketchbook brands which I also really like, I however missed my art creation sketchbook. So after I filled up my small art creation one which I took everywhere with me, I had to start a new art creation. So I always have one art creation beside the others I have in use at the moment. The thing is, because there are so many pages and because the sketchbook has a low price, I feel more relaxed and free to try out new things to test new supplies, to go nuts with layers and medias. My other sketchbooks are no everyday sketchbooks for me. My etcher, for example, I really love it, but I only want to use watercolors in it. It has a very good cotton watercolor paper and it was quite expensive, so I don't want to waste it with crazy ideas or doodling or cheap medias on this expensive paper. 
then I'm, I'm blocked and can't flow. But I really love to work with watercolors in the Etcher one, so you can see the art creations let me flow much more. In a past video, I was a bit upset because of these 80 pages. My A4 sized big one became really big in the end, really chunky. And it wasn't easy to work on the last 20 pages or so. It domed up on the left page a lot, although the pages all lay flat regularly. But I have to say, I glued in a lot of stuff here, like little sketches. It wasn't the same with my small one, as you can see here. I already bought another A4 size. I will split it in half and half and make two sketchbooks out of it, I think. So it's easier to take it with me, less heavy and bulky in the end. Well, we will see. Now I would like to know if you knew the sketchbooks and what you are thinking about them. Please tell me in the comments. There are medias which I have never used in these books, like oil paint or oil pastels, for example. So I also would love to hear if you tested these out and how it works. Meanwhile, this cute spread becomes so nice. I really like the motif, the cuties here. The Kuretake watercolors are kind of a hybrid between watercolors and gouache, I would say. They layer quite nice, almost completely opaque. If you use the paint very thick, it dries in a shiny finish. Some people hate it, some love it. If you use it this thick, it's very difficult to use colored pencils on top. The pigments can't hold on top of this glossy surface. But it is no problem to work with markers, crayons or super soft pencils on top of them. And on this paper, which is slightly yellowish, brownish toned, it's so much fun to work with this muted Art Nouveau palette. And you will see in the end, the paper is almost not wavy. I'm thinking about illustrating a little story again. I love to combine illustration and typography. You can see there are a lot of good reasons why I can recommend these art creation sketchbooks to you, my friends. I tried a lot of brands and most of them are also very good and I also like to work in them, but I think these art creation ones are most versatile to use and if you are working mixed media, these could also become your favorite sketchbooks. Okay, I'm speaking here for myself and my own experiences with these books and as I worked my very first time in my first art creation one, I was kind of skeptical. It took me a while to come back to it and then I just was in love. So even if you have not as good experiences as I have with these sketchbooks, it would be great to tell your story in the comment section that we all know. This is an enrichment for our community here. Thank you a lot. Right now I enjoy a lot more working in my sketchbooks than on individual papers, what is perhaps not perfect if I want to sell my original paintings. But because these pages lay down flat, it's easy to scan the artworks and then they can still become prints. I should really work on my shop, it's on my list for this year. On this point, I still thought about what text could be placed in these little text boxes. I had a few ideas, you will see in the end what these cuties want to tell us. Oh, and as you perhaps already recognized, I'm working with my Artex colored pencils here. A year ago, I reviewed them on my channel and since then, a swatching page is hanging in my window. In one of my next videos, I will compare them with the swatching page, which is laid in my drawer for one year, so we all know how light fast they are. I'm really curious about that. 
on the spread, I also worked with a polychromo and a Caranda Luminos white gouache and a white acrylic marker from Posca, a very fine one, just that you know. Thank you so much for watching this video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the process of this little piece of sketchbook art. I hope it was a bit of a help if you are on your research for your next sketchbook or if you are interested in these art creation sketchbooks. I have the feeling a lot of artists talk about them right now and it's always very interesting what the others think about them. I had a lot of fun with the sketchbook session and it was inspiring for other incoming artworks. Please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your support. Also a big thank you to my patrons. You are awesome. There's something I'm planning for you. I will tell you soon. So let's have a look at the close-ups together. Stay creative and have an awesome time, my friends. Yours, Sunani. Music